Hi there boys and girls, it's me again. Today I'm gonna do a different video. As you see I'm in my kitchen and for those of you who are wondering what I'm doing here, I can cook. <laughs> And this is uh, foundation for Swedish meatballs. It's uh, grinded pork meat and uh, in this case ground and grinded moose meat. You can use whatever you like. Uh, cow even calf or whatever and in this I took some coarsely chopped onions uh, salt pepper uh, the first thing I did was to grind some bread I used to dry my bread and use it to feed birds with or use it to do this with so you get uh, bread crumbs and then you put some cream in that and then you add salt pepper and uh, some garlic if you like and then you put your onion your chopped onion in that and you stir it around a bit and leave it for five ten minutes then you put in your grinding meat and you stir it around and to top that off you take two eggs and just break the eggs into the into the bowl and just stir it around and then you're good to go so what you do with this is you do small bowls with it take your hands and you scoop a little bit of this and you roll it in your hand and put it on a plate or on a some sort of thing that it can lie on then you heat up a pan and you heat it up good butter in it and then you put in your little balls your meatballs and you take them to a fairly high temperature and you roll them around get an even brown color on them and when they're finished you tuck them away in a another pot Put them in there and you take Let's see. that or this one. 
bouillon. That's meat, bouillon, and that's one or two of these, depending on how many meatballs you got. If you got about up to a third, one is enough. If you got over half full, you need two. And you let that cook for at least 20 minutes but let it cook slow on low heat this one is fairly high heat to get the surface brown colored and to shut the pores on the meat and this is for getting a good flavor because these give some good flavors to, to the meat as you see here a lot of butter and I'm gonna put the heat up Melt this real quick. I'm gonna start rolling this into small round bowls of meat. I'll show you in a second. Now the bowl is fairly hot. Okay, um, I think it's five, six, around there. I've got some round meatballs. And don't bother getting them totally round. It doesn't affect the taste. So if you do like I did here, some round, some not so round, doesn't matter. Makes them more homemade. If you're good at rolling these, you can do two at a time. You use the table as the rolling surface, or this as your rolling surface, and you take your meat and roll it, roll a scoop of meat in both your hands. But I'm gonna try to show you what I mean. You do it like this if you're good with two hands. You get two meatballs, but I do it like this. And that's what I do. You see, this is starting to look like meatballs, and when they get brown on the surface, almost black, they're ready. And when you roll the meatballs, you need wet hands, otherwise it's will stick to your fingers and I do like this 
Adapting the wall. And you can use some tools to help you to takes about let's say eight, eight to ten minutes for every pan and I think that lot will take all about six or seven full pans so This wasn't even half full. As you see, it starts to get brown on the surface. But mm, it's going to be a lot stronger than this before it's finished. You see some red meat. I don't can see any red meat when it's finished. And to top this off you're gonna cook it for about 15 20 minutes on slow heat. Just to Get the flavor of these two to sink in. Now you see maple's got some color on them. Uh, half dried. And these are going in next. And that's what's left to roll. And this is empty so far. As you see, got some brownish, almost black color on some of them. So I'm soon gonna tip them over and boil them to layer. I'm gonna add some more butter in the pan. And when I'm and when I have this fully loaded. I will add some butter and these two. And cook it for 15 20 minutes. When you put one back in, you need to start to roll another quite quite fast because this is gonna get ready quite fast quite hot in pan so it doesn't take long and I only have these now here's my meatballs what is this bullion stock or broth or whatever so Take a glass of water. I got some butter in here. Uh, a glass, maybe two glasses. Now you can 
can see some water down there. Now we take these two. Got the two there. And I used to place them in the water to get them to dissolve a bit faster. Then you just put a lid on. Sit on fairly low heat. That's number three on this 380 volt stove. And let it sit for at least 15 minutes. sauce of what's in there. 